for coming tonight, Adam. Obviously, um, the three-point shooting. You know, I think the last five games are at 39 percent. Uh, they have a lot of guys that can get it going from the three-point line. Uh, obviously, Trey Young is a special player. Uh, his ability to shoot the three with deep range off the bounce, his ability to get to the basket, his ability to get to the free throw line. Um, so, you know, one guy cannot guard him by, you know, himself. It takes a team effort. Uh, so the three-point line is a concern. The offensive rebounding, they have a lot of size and length. Um, you know, so hopefully we can limit them to one shot. Um, but, yeah, you know, people say, oh, they've lost five in a row. They're in a funk. And I would challenge people, look who they lost to. Uh, the, the, the last five opponents, uh, you know, Utah, Golden State, Phoenix, Utah, and Brooklyn, uh, you know, that's that's a murderous row right there for anybody. So, um, yes, they're a team that went to the Eastern Conference Finals. We know that they're going to come in here and try to get out of that losing streak. You know, for us, it's a matter of um, staying true to ourselves and, and doing what we do. Trey Young's so good in, in the Florida area. So is that something that you're just going to have to live with tonight? Or is it something that you're going to try to build it up? Well, I think against any great player, you can't give him the same look for 48 minutes. Uh, so I think there are times where we may be up and be aggressive. And there'll be times where we're down the floor. And obviously, I think we've had a, a few games this year when we've been down the floor in pick and rolls. Um, but the guard or the the defender on the ball, whether it's Luca, whether it's Ja Morant, uh, his ability to rear view, pursue and contest and fight to square the ball up and make that shot tough um, is what you need. So at times we'll be down and I'm sure he's going to make some tough shots that are well defended. That's what great players do. Um, but, you know, we just got to stay the course and, and, and trust our defense and uh, we'll make the necessary adjustments as the game unfolds. Yeah, it presents a challenge. You know, you can only play so many guys um, with uh, Michael out, with Nicola out. You know, it was a great opportunity for, for Zeke to take advantage of those minutes that were, um, you know, present to him. And he did he did that. Uh, and, and so now you look for other ways to get him into the game. But, you know, Nicola is going to play 34, 36 minutes a night. You have Aaron, you have Jeff, you have Jamichael. Um, you know, but I, I, I know that I will not hesitate to throw him out there. Uh, his ability to screen and roll, his ability to be a versatile defender who can guard all over the floor uh, are, are things that can only help us. So it uh, definitely will be a, a lot harder than the other night, Chris. But, you know, uh, if we can find some minutes for Zeke, I uh, would love to do so. Hey, Coach. Uh, Aaron Gordon obviously had that big jump ball in the uh, screen in the last game, but what can you say just about his overall performance this season so far? No, I think he's, uh, he's an all-NBA defensive player. I mean, uh, you look what he's done every night, the guys that we have asked him to guard, and, you know, right now we're presently the number two defense in the NBA, uh, and Aaron Gordon is a very big part of that. So, um, you know, Aaron is not a guy that has a huge ego that is not saying, I, you know, give me the damn ball, anything like that. He's just out there playing, playing the game and playing the right way and doing what we need him to do. Um, and you're right. Um, you can you can have a game where maybe your impact isn't great, but you can win a jump ball. You can get a screen assist that allows us to hold on and win a tight game like Aaron did against Indiana. But uh, I don't care. Which game you look at, Aaron's defensive presence and effectiveness has been uh, outstanding. So, uh, you know, I'm making the early case for him. Obviously, we have a ton of games to go, but if he keeps this up, he's playing like an all-NBA defender. All right. Appreciate everybody.